Our next guest joining us live from Armenia is Silva, whom you uh, met uh, at the first, very first video, the video of the three Charlie's Angels or the Bacchus's Angels. Hi, Silva. Hello, Anush. Good evening, Los Angeles, and good morning to all my fellow wine people in Armenia. Good yes, morning, Silva John. I cannot thank you enough for organizing this virtual guinea fest because you know that it's the best start of the morning of the day and i'm already enjoying my wine <laughs> absolutely silva tell us what you do um and uh tell uh, about ricard's wines yeah so ricard's wines uh is a um recent project in armenia it was established in 2017 by two very close friends, Armenian and Italian. So the story of Ricard's wine um, is, uh, you know, it started when two wine lovers, wine enthusiasts and wine professionals got together and decided to start, start this project in Armenia because our Italian co-founder Ricardo Gagliardi and his winemaker Federico Renzi they have more than 30 years of uh, experience in winemaking and wine business. So they joined their friend Arsen Zadoyan in Armenia and together they decided to establish Ricard's wine and to promote the Armenian indigenous grape varieties and the Armenian traditional winemaking methods, combining them with some Tuscan traditions. Uh, before we go in, uh, in a little bit more detail about where the winery is located, where you get the grapes, why don't you share with us what you do for Ricars? I do uh, winemaking. So as I mentioned, we have the, uh, Federico Renzi, who is the chief winemaker and consultant of Ricars Wine, as well as the co-founder. Um, so I'm doing the winemaking here, like I'm the Armenian based winemaker and Federico is our chief consultant. That is so and amazing. I'm so proud. I'm so excited to see such a young uh, winemaker, but not only also being a female, I think that uh, deserves a big cheers. That's amazing. Cheers. <laughs> so now Thank share you. us with us about your winemaking techniques, because I know you stay truly to the um, authentic Armenian traditions and the culture and everything is incorporated. Yeah, so as I mentioned, um, we deal with indigenous grape varieties and the company started uh, producing Adeni. So uh, what we have now in the market, the 2017 vintage, which you can see over here, um, and I'm holding here the bottle of Arag. These are our Areni. So we have um, two red dry wines produced differently. So David, that you have, Anushjan, um, it is uh, made of 100% Areni grape variety growing in Vyodzor uh, region in Ahavnadzor village, high altitude vineyards. So um, for David, we, we ferment the grapes in concrete tanks, which is a part of the Tuscan um, you know, tradition. And then we age the wine about eight months in Artsakh oak barrels. Um, as to Arag, we ferment um, the same Arani grape from the same vineyards. We ferment them in Garasis, the Armenian clay pots, right? And we age them in concrete tanks. So after the fermentation, the wine rests a little bit in the concrete tank and then we bottle. And um, the point is that we have, you know, the, the grapes are from the same um, vineyards, but they taste so differently due to the different winemaking techniques. Uh, Silva, why did you decide to, and why did uh, um, the, 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 the winemakers or the company decide to make the wine in Garas because it could be so challenging and it could be also risky. It's not the easiest way to go. You know, it's easier to ferment right. in the stainless steel and age it just in a barrel, but going into an extra length of bringing another part of the history and the culture is a little risky. So what was the... Yeah, 
I would mention that not only Gotas, but also concrete tank is a little bit hard to deal with. But, uh, you know, our winemaker is not scared of challenges and he likes them. And, you know, he, he has more than 30 years of um, experience providing consultancy all over Italy. So he wanted to try something new as well as incorporate the Armenian tradition in the Armenian winemaking. So the indigenous grape variety and the traditional technology of Armenia making wine. Yeah, I, I know he also took an extra step by taking some r and varietals back to Tuscany, as well yes. as taking Caucasian oak barrels Caucasian and aging barrels. Italian varietals in the Caucasian oak barrels. Yes. He, he ages his Sangiovese produced in Toscana, he ages in Artsakh oak barrels. That's because amazing. Like yeah, it is. <laughs> um, so uh, where are your wines available? I know they uh, are available in the United States, which is so exciting because yeah. I love I love both the uh, David and Arag. Uh, I mean, I've said that the whole night. I love all the wines. So, <laughs> so how, how, how can our viewers purchase them? OK, so uh, the wines are available on the East Coast, uh, Crush uh, Company. Armenian importer, and uh, now we're available there. Um, I don't know if any can, uh, any shipment can be organized to the West Coast. Yeah, but we can arrange something. We are really hoping and we are really looking forward um, having your wines uh, available in California, and we're looking forward to having you uh, here for the Guinea Fest so you can come and share your story with our beautiful um, uh, uh, people. I don't know, even, you cannot call them custom customers. They are the festival attendees. They have such a good vibe. They're so welcoming. Wine people. Wine, Wine people. Community. Wine people. Um, I wanted to, um, this is such a nice and bold, powerful wine. I wanted to see if I can find a match with our cheese board today that it's provided by oh. Karun and Presidente. So what do you think? I have here some brie, I have here some feta, I have here some smoked cheese. What do I you think? think you can, yes, I think you can pair it with smoked cheese because this is barrel aged, uh -huh. Davi, and also some like aged cheeses. There is also some, some blue cheese. Do you think it will work with the blue cheese? Uh, you can try, right? <laughs> yeah, why you, not? You know what? I am going to go and try it because I think that because there's so much blue cheese in Armenia. Yeah. Enjoy, Anush. <laughs> mm, it is so good. I love it. I'll try it. <laughs> you know why? Because it has this um, characteristics in the wine that is very um, earthy. And also yeah. the combination of the blue cheese, you know, with the earthy and mushroomy thing combines yeah. really well together. So it's a perfect match. So get your blue cheese and get the David and celebrate the live Guinea Fest. Cheers. Good morning to you. I'm wishing you a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining and sharing Thank you your so story. Much for Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Silvajan. Bye. Bye. Cheers. This is so good.